Oh yeah, my typical day as a service engineer in the fire protection game usually consists of, depending on if I've got a long way to travel, say three hours, I might then turf myself out of bed about 4.30 in the morning and never have a cup of tea and never have any breakfast. Uh, if I do that, I just find as if I'm just wasting time, valuable time that I can be, you know, so many miles up the motorway. <laughs> So I just tend to just roll out of bed and uh, clean my teeth, brush my hair and then I just set off on the motorways and get up to where I've got to go. Like today was uh, Newcastle which is like three hours from Manchester and sometimes I'll just stop at McDonald's for some breakfast and uh, I'll check my iPad, my works iPad and uh, see whether there's been any postings on the JW community and see whether I want to comment on anything that someone's posted that I found really interesting and usually yeah there's always someone posting something that it's, uh, that always makes you think you know what I never thought of it like that but yeah yeah because you know there is some really intelligent people on that community and some very research people and sometimes it's uh, it's just great sharing ideas with them and so it makes the day as well the day seem a lot better if uh, you can have a few ideas in the morning, early morning, for uh, and it simulates your brain as well. It's another good thing I like about it. And uh, normally, what happens after that is I get to the job and then I get on with the contract, and I try to do two or three jobs a day, and I either stay in a hotel like a prem in, premier in. Uh, I'm staying in one at the moment in South Shields, and. Uh, which is good because who wants to be uh, fighting traffic on the way back when you've just done three hours to get there and then you've done your jobs, your contracts and if you had to drive another three hours or more to get back you're going to be really, really tired. So I try and avoid that if I can and stay in a hotel. And the company pays for it. They've got a, an account with Premier in. So you tell them what you want and they just pay for it. You get your evening meal, you get a drink and everything else if you want one. And it's really cool. <laughs> And uh, I love being an engineer, you know, uh, I can't say I used to enjoy being a Jehovah's Witness. There were times when there were certain benefits of being a JW, although I can't think of them at the moment, but um, it can't have all been doom and gloom, there must have been some happiness behind the attachments of that religion. Uh, I think of some of the associations that I had, um, there were some pretty, pretty nice people. Um, some lovely people in fact, genuine. Um, so I can't say that uh, it's all doom and gloom. It's nice to be able to get a balance on things. But is anybody looking forward to um, fixing up a banner? And what's the banner going to consist of? Have they got a fixed idea of what they're going to call this banner? Uh, I've seen that there's certain rules on the Facebook community regarding banners. I didn't know that you had to be governed by these kind of rules and that's a bit of an eye-opener to me so I'm hoping that if I do a t-shirt and with a small little message on it I hope that I'm not gonna cause offense to anybody I don't think I, I am because it's not in my personality to uh, to unduly upset anybody I don't like doing that I really like to get on with people the best I can you know the best way possible being a Piscean Pisceans uh, we're off the, the water and we are supposed to be quite easygoing people. Um, and I think about some of the famous Pisceans in the in history. Johnny Cash, he was a Piscean. He was quite easygoing when he'd had a drink. <laughs> it was when he hadn't had a drink and hadn't had cannabis that he got a bit narky. <laughs> but if you kept him well inebriated and well stoned, he was always pretty calm. Yeah, good on you, Johnny Cash. Yeah, one of the good singers in this world that I miss. Okay, that's me out for now. Hey everyone, how's everyone doing? Welcome to my world, my engineering world. Just a normal day. One of PPM, um, one of the uh, retail stores in Newcastle, on time. Gets here and finds out that this pump completely run dry of diesel, which is not good because pump number one is out of commission anyway. So that worried me because the site was very vulnerable. Uh, I suppose everybody's going to be getting ready for the assemblies, aren't they? Um, just knowing what uh, 
banners they're going to prepare, what messages they're going to send to the JWs. Health and safety. Not giant not ship, all the stuff. Um, yeah, I'm thinking of designing a, a t shirt. Nothing with my logo on. Maybe a message or something like that. I've got an idea what I want to call this t shirt. And uh, I think it'll be quite appropriate for the day. Uh, I'm just going to arrange for the hotels, um, decide where I'm staying. Ideally, I want to be a stones throw, don't I, from the XO. I think that would be uh, perfect. I could just get, you know, maybe a short walk away. If I could manage that, then I'll be quite happy. Um, but I'm going to say today, uh, I've got a pump engineer coming shortly, uh, so we can blade the fuel lines. Uh, it's not something I want to do myself because you can get yourself covered in diesel, and who wants to be covered in diesel and then go back to a hotel in the evening? No, certainly not me anyway. Uh, that's it really, just uh, giving you a little insight into what I do as an engineer. Cheerio! That's my company service vehicle. Pretty happy with it, it's a Mercedes. Um, good runner. You know, it's, uh, I can't complain. I've had worse vans as a service engineer, but uh, this one, you get no complaints from me. Quite a decent van. And that is the uh, suction tank. People call them a sprinkler tank, but it's a suction tank. And uh, it's just a positive head of water that are against the pumps so that's just a little insights into what I do bloody hell it's tiring being a bloody service engineer you know what you've got to get used to you've got to get used to the styles you get them in your eyes because of the concentration that you need when you're on the road and the early mornings you've got to get up you get very few breaks as a service engineer because you've got to book your jobs in and then you've got to hit schedules and everything else. And it is very tiring. Anyway, uh, do you mind? Um, am I allowed to uh, go to the little boys' room? I hope not mind. I hope I don't splash my camera. Oops, nearly did. That's sad of old age, isn't it? You think you want to go, you get there, and you can't go.